Jason M. I like to say the Z3 is a very, very nice device, very well built. Everything seems to be made out of just one piece, but there are different pieces here. Of course, this is like this is a sandwich of glass and metal just here. The edges are so well curved. I never was very skeptical about buying a Sony device before because all Sony devices didn't really have good edges. But this one has so nice curves. It's very good, very comfortable fitting in the hand. I've tried all the Sony devices prior to this one in the stores and this one just fits very well in the hand. Doesn't hurt my hand at all. And I feel this is what Sony should have done all this while. The display on this is very, very good. I know some people have their normal complaints, but take this display, give it to a normal consumer. I just think it's fantastic. The display is very, very good, top notch. I don't find any real complaints about the display. It's very, very good. It has a micro SD card, which I really, really like. And um, it has a power button, the volume rockers, and the camera shutter button. This camera shutter button, actually, I think every single smartphone manufacturer should get down to this. Because launching the camera is so easy. I just hold the button, and then once I hold the button, it opens the camera, and I'm into the interface, ready to take a picture. Last night, I was at the club, and taking pictures was just so damn easy with this thing. Very nice. Camera app. The camera app has a lot of controls for people to use. Camera 2 is also very, very good, especially at night. At night, I think this is one of the best cameras you can find on any smartphone ever. It takes exactly what you see and sometimes even better what I see, better than what I see with my eyes. I think this camera is really, really good. In daytime, it takes very good shots too. In the nighttime, it just kills everything out I've ever used before because it's just amazing what this camera can do. And believe me, it's really on high level. The pictures at night are just, wow, they're just amazing. As for the sound, it has two speakers here, dual stereo speakers, and they are very, very loud. I don't know why manufacturers decide to put either speakers on the bottom or on the back of a device. It just doesn't make sense. The best speakers are supposed to be on the front of the device. It's just amazing the way this thing sounds. Once I put it to play against anything, it's just like the music is coming towards me and I just like the way this thing is. Also, this device is extremely thin. I mean, very, very thin. I placed it to compare with the LG G2 and really, uh, yeah, the LG G2 is not the thinnest device on the market. But if you hold this in your hands, you would think it's really thin until you put it against the Xperia Z3 and then it's just not thin enough. When holding the Z3, it's like... There's a better balance around the edges and the edges are also made of matte metal finish. So it's easier to grip and then the balance is around the edges in such a way that it's very easy to hold and it doesn't slide out of the hand. Very easy to hold and also feels lighter even though it's heavier than my G2 but it feels lighter in the hand. I don't know why. Maybe it's a balanced weight distribution. The fact that this thing is just dust proof and water resistant is amazing. I mean you go out, maybe you go somewhere for party or whatsoever someone throws be on you or any drink and then the phone is still okay take your phone toss it in water go and have a shower with it and your phone is okay provided these flaps are closed by the way and when i got the device i actually was given also this um, dock which is very good because anytime i need to just charge my phone i'll just sit it down on the dock and easy it's charging just like that no need to open any flaps or whatsoever and the first time and the first time you get the device, of course, you just need to put your, your micro SD card and your SIM card in here and it's locked forever. You don't need to open it again. So for the flaps, they are, they are a little annoying, but they are not that annoying to afford because I never really need to open them for what so ever the reason. The design is very, very compact. There's no squeaking, no bending. You really feel this thing is made premium. Very nice device, very well built device. As for the software experience, I'm very, very, very well pleased with what Sony has done here. Sony has done a lot of stuff to keep the user experience close to stock Android as possible, but yet very fast, even faster than stock Android, and having so many of the Android L features. And one of the features I really love is trusted devices, where all I'll do is maybe I have my I have a Mi Band here, this is a fitness tracker, and it communicates to my phone by Bluetooth Low Energy. So what happens is if I set a password on my phone and I don't want to unlock my phone with that password anymore, I can set this as a trusted device. If I'm close to this phone with this band, it's going to unlock. 
and maybe if I hand the phone to a friend or something, the friend can unlock my phone or if my phone gets lost, no one can unlock it except I go towards my phone and my phone knows that the Mi Band is coming towards it then it's going to unlock. So somehow I'm the key to my phone and nothing else can happen, nothing else can unlock my phone this way and I think that's just amazing the way it's done. And also there's one thing Sony added that I really like, um, the fact that you can set a Bluetooth range. That's, I can set maybe my range to be just at this length, my phone is in my room or something. I can set that range and, and it's just amazing because if I set the range to be just around me, it means once my phone just leaves my perimeters, my phone is locked. And once it gets back to me, once I hold my phone again and try to unlock it, my phone is unlocked. If I hand you my phone, you can unlock it. But once you give me back, I can unlock it. And that's just a huge security measure. I think it's very, very convenient, as convenient as Touch ID. That's, that's just, it's a very, very good feature. Battery life on this has been killer. And I mean killer, I mean every single, when my OG G2 I used to have so much battery optimization on this stuff. With this guy, nothing, I've not really had any real optimization on this thing. Ne I've not had any optimization on this thing and yet the battery life is just amazing. I don't know how they did it. This phone is really thin, really really thin. And the battery inside just lasts forever. It just doesn't die, I don't know what they did with this thing. But the battery just doesn't die. I've been using it for almost two days now and the battery is not dying. I don't know what's happening. It's just going on and on. And believe me, when I use my phone for this long, at this time, it's already at the charger. Like my LG G2, if I was using it at this time, and this thing had phenomenal battery life, by the way. I don't know which phones had better battery life than this, but this thing had phenomenal battery life. But if I was using it at this time, it would be at the charger. Z3 still here, alive and running. I can leave it with me for the whole day the major disappointment and that's only one little thing is no ir blaster i really miss this thing this little thing here at the top of my g2 the ir blaster just makes it easy you get into anywhere you just take control of any device you want this is the whole package this is what every single android device should be it looks very nice very good it feels very well in the hand very sturdy it's made well. It's extremely thin. I mean, yeah, you can go get your iPhone 6, you can go get your other phones. But I mean, if I place this close to the iPhone 6 and I couldn't really tell the difference, it's really thin. The battery lasts forever. I mean, the battery really stays. I uh, screen, the screen is crazy. It's a crazy screen. The camera too is really, really good. The camera is really good. And for me, where I wanted my personal mobile device to step up, my camera phone to step up was at night and this thing at night i haven't found one yet i mean there's the htc one i made all those other devices the the iphone 6 all of them i've tried comparisons with this and god this camera is just crazy what sony does here it's really really good what sony has done here and um i have to give them kudos for that even forgetting things like the speakers that are really good a part of that guys what do you guys think about this thing because I really think it's nice. The gold color, the uh, the bronze color, is very very good. I like it a lot. I really wanted to purchase it in this bronze color because to me black and white are just boring. Um, what do you guys think? Tell me. Let me know in the comments down below. And um, if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. Sometimes I do these videos. I'm a petroleum engineering student. When I have time, I give you guys content. When I don't have time, we chill. So until next time, guys. See you.